All right, guys, before today's episode starts, we have to pick the winner of the Kraken rank, I believe, from the last episode. So I had the link right here. Let's go ahead and go on down. Hit start. Whoever's name pops up wins the Kraken rank. I will probably just ask staff to uh, to give it to you in your inventory or something. So let's just hit start. Boom, pick a winner. What the hell is going on? Oh, get YouTube comments. My bad. Now we started it and it was Galactic Tiger. Oh my God. Can I play the server if I'm Eagle Crap? Yo, what does that even mean, bro? I am not going to lie, bro. You should have put your Gen, you would have got a free rank, but I mean, I guess he's on Eagle Craft, whatever that means. So maybe he can't even play the server anyway. Uh, pick another winner, okay? Hit start. Hopefully, we actually get an IGN right here. And oh my god, Gucci Taco, the owner of the server, just won the giveaway, bro. Are we serious? All right, third time's a charm, bro. You guys know what they say. Give me an IGN, Elsa Jean. Wow, Elsa Jean's already kind of an OP player on the server, I'm pretty sure, but it is what it is, okay? Elsa Jean, you won. I tried three times. That's gonna go ahead and do it for this intro clip. Go ahead and enjoy today's dungeons episode yo guys what is going on it is royal here today back for another episode i believe this is episode three of the dungeon series already i am recording this video literally right after finishing the last episode because in today's video guys we actually have a decent amount of stuff planned all right for today's intro we are going to be checking out the brand new battlegrounds event now with this event um if you guys watch the showcase video it's basically call of duty zombies all right like black ops zombies there's a perk machine there's a mystery chest and you can buy guns Guns off the wall. It's really, really cool, but they have also added an update where you can now pack a punch your guns. And I actually haven't seen that because that was not on for the showcase video. So that's going to be brand new to me. But the thing is, there are battlegrounds like, uh, oh, battleground point. Is that what it is? Um, wait, no, no, no. I want to see the shop. Battleground shop. If we take a look in here, there are brand new totem boxes. Now, this is the only way you can get totems to my knowledge at the moment because if I do slash buy, you can't even pay to win for these totems. All right. And I know this is a pay to win series. But look, there are no totems in this celebration bundle. So in today's video, we are going to be running some battlegrounds, hopefully getting to decently high rounds and getting a ton of points. So that way we can buy some totem boxes because slash totems, bro, if we start getting soul uh, totems, enchant totems, level totems, tool totems, that is going to make us progress so much faster in the series. But also in the last episode, we hit sword level 250 and now we have a decent amount of damage enchants. So we are also going to be rebirthing in today's episode because I I'm still rebirth two, which is pretty god awful. Okay. But anyways, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and see if some of my guild members are online to run this battlegrounds event. I don't believe you want to run this battlegrounds event as a solo because you have to protect your core. And I think you want at least like two to three people to run it with you. I think the mobs health does scale on how many players are in your game. So if you run it with like a maxed out guild, everything is going to be higher health. But I think we have like three people right now. And that might just be the sweet spot. Okay. I just checked sizzle. Uh, Lord, wait, wait. Sizzle Lord King. Honestly, bro, I haven't even looked at this guy's IGN. I'm calling him King. Or is that glazing, bro? He's not LeBron. And then Dan Holy. Those are the three. Obviously, them two and me. So now Battleground. I don't even know how to start this thing. Slash Battleground. Um, start does that does that work boom there we go um a good point actually isn't here but i guess he's afk so we're gonna ready up guild points afk so i don't know if he's gonna get thrown into the game with us wait yo lord king has to okay lord king is readied up all right we're all three good to go i still have two spots available on the guild at the moment can i like kick guild point from like this thing or are we just gonna have to wait oh wait look at the battleground leaderboard so i believe the highest wave anybody has ever reached is 32 i don't know what we're really shooting for here i'm not sure if these guys have any experience with the battleground and I don't know if there's like a strategy or a meta that you want to run when doing these things. But I guess we'll see, bro. I'm excited. This is one of the coolest updates I have ever seen. This is the brand new update for dungeons. Like the massive one. And boom, we just got thrown in. I literally spawn in with weapons, bro. Now, all the mobs spawn right over here. And you can just farm these out early game. But as soon as you start opening doors, that opens up different ways for mobs to start spawning. And that's whenever things start to get a little bit hectic. But for right now, we're just going to kill these chickens, farm out some coins because you get coins every single mob kill you get as you guys can see i'm at 300 coins currently and there are doors there's doors right here that's a thousand gold i believe that's where the perk machine is and then back here is actually the mystery box and then over here might be pack a punch i'm assuming like i said i've never actually seen the pack a punch so i don't know but yeah we're already low-key getting overran um and then the middle is your core all right if the mobs make it to the middle and start attacking your core you only have a thousand core hp as you guys can see on the scoreboard right there and once that hits zero 
you obviously lose. Now, if you guys have played Call of Duty Zombies before, you usually will train like a mob on the last round, right? So that way you can go get your perks, go get your guns and all that. It doesn't work like that on here, okay? If you don't kill all the mobs for the round, I believe they just keep spawning like no matter what. So yeah, I don't really know how we're gonna do this because I am not making like any coins at all, bro. I am dirt poor, only 700 coins. That's not even enough for the wall gun. That's not enough to unlock a door. So we're kind of down horrendous and these mobs are already, you know, coming with a decent amount of health. Now, the thing is, I do believe you can train these mobs a little bit, like get them aggroed onto you so they don't attack your core. So right now it's still pretty easy. Do you have infinite ammo on the pistol? No, you don't. But you do have 800. So you shouldn't really be running out of ammo anytime soon. I still have 710 shots. I believe the XP bar is how much ammo you have in your gun. Oh, bro, slimes are starting to spawn in. I've never even seen these things. Oh my God. I mean, we're, we're actually mowing them down. I do have a thousand points now. I might buy that wall gun. What is it? The red eagle. I don't actually know what that does. And actually, we do have swords, which acts as like kind of, you know, the zombie's knife. Maybe, oh, this thing does neck damage, bro. Hell no. Maybe there's like a wall upgrade, like the Bowie knife. I believe that was in like what? High rise or something, if I remember correctly. I'm not even 100% sure myself. So I actually am going to walk over here. We're going to purchase this gun because I don't even know what it does. What's the damage? Oh my God, 36 damage. And the fire rate, was that quicker than the pistol? Oh, bro, yo, this gun is goaded low key. It just doesn't have a high like magazine size which is fine as long as you are hitting your shots which i believe i am and now that i think about it guys you might want to run this ideally with four people because again once we unlock these walls mobs are going to start spawning from that side and i think if everybody grabs their own side that's probably the most optimal so i'm assuming four is probably going to be the best but right now we only have three online unfortunately oh wait we already have a boss all right somebody needs to open up the door dude like i'll do it but like i don't think these guys have even bought a wall gun um just keep training these things don't let it hit our core uh yeah make sure that skeleton stays aggroed onto you i'm going to open up a mystery box okay I'll open it up for these guys because we're going to need some better weapons if bosses are already spawning in. And I think these guys are cheaping out on me to not spend their points. But it's all good. You know, I'm always a team player. It is what it is. Now, the mystery box is a thousand coins and clearly I can't afford it anymore because I just bought the wall. Bro, do I see withers spawning in? Are my bullets missing? This gun might not reach that far, bro. That's pretty lengthy. I can't lie. And now the mobs are starting to spawn behind us, like I said, because we opened up the mystery box. So we need to go get some better guns. I have it. I can roll it once, bro. I'm going to go try real quick. We're going to run over here. I believe we have somebody at the core. I opened up the damn door. So you know what? I'm hitting the box first. I don't even care. Oh my Lord. Okay. Let's make sure we don't get hopped here. Um, boom, roll it. Uh, wait, wait, extra weapon perk. What? Nah, I got to roll it like this. Okay. We're going to get rid of our pistol. Obviously our starter pistol. Oh my God. I'm getting ran through. Did this guy just steal my gun? Oh, I don't think I actually rolled it. Um, okay. So whenever I play this, you could actually have three guns or maybe I'm tweaking because I did actually have that extra gun perk. So you know what? I think I am tweaking. Boom. Oh, hell nah. Insta kill. That's actually really cool. But now I have two red eagles. This is not ideal. I need to get like an automatic AR, bro. I'm going to go ahead and let Lord King go hit the box real quick if he wants to to get some better guns because we just hit ours. Wait, is that a warden? Okay, wait, wait. It wasn't a boss warden, so I just actually beamed him real quick. These guns do do a decent amount of damage right now, so it's pretty nice. And our core is only down three health at the moment, so not bad. Okay, and it looks like we did open up the wall for perks. I need to go get some new guns now because we are on wave 17, but yeah, someone did. I think it was Dan who opened up the wall. That is good looks. Where the hell is uh sizzle? I get all the mobs on my side, so I'm gonna go run over here to the perk machine, see if we can get something decent like a coin or an extra gun perk would be super huge right here another thousand coins man boom we got ammo one that is not great screw it hit it one more time second perk we got damage reduction is that damage reduction to the core or to the player i don't actually know let's take a look over here because there is a thunderbolt i've never used this this thing is 2500 points i'm probably gonna start saving for that wait there's a warden boss i didn't even know i gotta take a look at the top of my scoreboard a little bit more luckily teams got it they killed him off and dark legacy just messaged me if i'm recruiting he said he's rebirth 10 i did say i would invite him but i kind of want to check his sword level a little bit or like swings something like that and wait bro sizzle just got an extra weapon sword perk that is actually insane oh dan got one too all right screw me bro i just have the worst loot in the game i guess and we are starting to run out of ammo a little bit so that is not a great look this gun right here the the first red eagle i bought is down to 259 shots but so far we're on wave 21 i would say we're doing pretty good wait coin rush 2x coins earned for the next 30 seconds i haven't actually seen a power-up spawn in so 
I haven't gotten it on video, but screw it. Hey, my teammates are getting it. That's all that matters. I am buying this wall gun right now, bro. Please be decent. This thing is mad expensive, so it has to be good, right? Boom. Thunderbolt right here. Let's see. Um, It is automatic, I think. I mean, it doesn't shoot that fast. Bro, I think I just, this gun, this gun is buns. I'm not going to lie to you. Unless maybe you pack a punch it. I just wasted 2,500 coins, it feels like. Because I could have just went to the box and hit it twice. And probably got something a lot better than this thing. This thing does no damage. I'm cooked, bro. It's actually over. I was assuming this gun was good because you had to buy it for 2.5k. Which is pretty expensive. It does no damage, fam. This thing does 12 damage, bro. Is that like literally less than the starter pistol? And we are actually losing core HP. I don't know who's selling the bag currently. Oh my god, bro who's selling you're supposed to train them none of my mobs have gotten through by the way but still um you know i do make damage this is the only good gun i have that does actual damage i think we lose here i don't know if these guys entirely know that they should both be like getting aside and then just holding that down i don't know if they know that but it's all good i mean first attempt bro i should have just never bought that thunderbolt and maybe we would be chilling right now but right now yeah dude the waves just keep coming whether you kill the mobs or not this is not a great look but like i feel like i can just like infinitely run trains nah endermites with 400 health smallest hitbox known to mankind with the most health is devious work bro now i got a boss on me yo it's cooked it's cooked i promise bro we lose here bro we lose here this thing has 6.4 thousand health and somehow our core is taking damage because we had somebody who went down bro this is it i'm gonna go try and res them i still don't know how the resing system actually works on here entirely you're just supposed to be able to right click but like bro i swear like how, how do i res bro I, I don't know i literally don't know wait no i had the res i saw the xp bar too late it's over dude it's over i don't know how to res but yeah i mean there's too many mobs on the core we couldn't kill them anyway it is over pack it up we got to wave 29 and right here this was our battleground statistics only 49 shot points is not great we did get three skill points um 175 kills wave 28 hey learning experience as well the thunderbolt is buns okay nobody buy that thing so for right now bro definitely spend your skill tree points damage right there um i mean i can only go one way boom so now we can either go coins or freeze bullets uh i don't know i'm gonna go coins personally because uh, a 0.1 percent chance of a freeze bullet i, I i'll go the coins route for the boost all right guys you know what we are gonna also go ahead and invite dark legacy right now he didn't have the most swings he doesn't have the highest sword level but you know he said he's gonna play a decent amount and i don't want to comp i just want people to pee online for whenever we run these battlegrounds events okay guys we're gonna go ahead and run another one because i do have these uh you know cooldown skip vouchers okay now i'm trying to talk to the team i feel like this would be way easier to communicate if we were all in call but i'm trying to let everybody know um because now we have a four man we're gonna have to rotate sides so everybody can hit the box get their perks pack a punch we didn't even unlock pack a punch last game because if we unlocked that wall the mobs would have come from four sides and we were only three people i'm gonna try and cut this down a little bit i don't know if like battlegrounds you know content is enjoyable to watch but to play i have a blast with it so let's go ahead boom we use that to reset it and then ready up right here again good point is afk so we're gonna have to wait a minute but we're gonna run this back hopefully i get some better box luck and look at that bro we almost made it to wave 30 that is tough so here we go we are right back in it and everybody kind of knows the game plan now this is dark's first time running battlegrounds so he probably doesn't know too much but it's all good oh and he's enchanted rank all right that's nice to see oh wait max ammo power up that's the first one i've seen so they actually do drop upon some kills that's pretty cool max ammo is probably the most useless one so i'm gonna go ahead we're gonna buy this red eagle again because it was pretty good does a fat amount of damage wait bro this red eagle actually shoots a lot faster than i thought oh my god bro this gun is godlike i'm gonna go ahead and open the box for these guys right here all right so we are rolling our first mystery box of this run please give me a decent gun bro i'm begging and oh wait yes the pain bringer bro i believe this one is decent i want to pack a punch this one but now i have two decent guns i'm saving for perks because i need that extra gun perk oh wait did we already buy perks hold on hold on wait i just tied saving boss might stop the round this could be huge and now we're opening up perks bro oh wait rip never buy guys it doesn't so now we run over to the perk machine i am praying for like coins or the extra gun perk boom wait oh gotta get closer boom coin one coin two and then wait i don't know if these actually end up stacking but if they do i'll hang on to them and we got a max ammo right there i actually did need that for my red eagle so pretty huge so i'm gonna come over here roll my last perk um please boom oh my god bro all right i had three coins maybe i just hang on to this for a little bit okay and wait we just opened up pack a punch for the very first time 
time. It is 2k to pack a punch, so I'm actually almost there. Now we are on wave 25, and these mobs are starting to have a lot more health, so I think we had to open up pack a punch. It's about that time. More is spawning, so I am running over to pack a punch, me personally, with all of my mobs. And is that pack a punch right there? Oh my god. Wait, upgrade station's only a thousand. Who lied, bro? Who, who, who the hell lied? All right, screw it. Let's pack a punch, dude. Click your weapon into the machine. Bang. I pack a punch my uh, pistol because it just does more damage at the moment. Please give it to me. Give it to me. Oh my god, it's enchanted. Oh, we got it. But do I live? Oh my god, we live. <gasps> I gotta get back to the bridge. Oh my lord. I'm gonna take a look at the stats on this thing in a second, but I have got to get back to the bridge because no one is guarding that side. That was my side. All right, I should be able to make it in time to aggro these mobs onto me and then we should be good to go. All right. And wait, who sold? Someone sold the bag. Our core is cooked, fam. Someone sold. I think we lose right here again. I'm gonna try and get these aggroed onto me, but I'm also trying to shoot at the core. I think it's cooked, bro. Oh, I might honestly die. Before we die, what did this go up to? 43 damage. I don't remember what we started with, but you guys could check on the video, I guess. We did make it to wave 30, but this is where literally everybody on the server has been losing. Wait. Sizzle froze? Oh, maybe that's maybe that's what happened. Either way, what was the summary? We got 46 shot points, two skill points. Was that worse than the last one? So guys, we're gonna run one more because we want to get some more battleground points. I'm just gonna cut this one out of the video because I don't really think it's possible to get much further than we really did. Well, guys, um, we've made it to round 33, which is the highest anybody has ever made it before. But uh, the only problem is... Oh, oh, it's cooked. Oh my, bro, that guy just took so much of my mobs. And he's gonna have the fattest train on him in the world. Yeah, bro, I mean... It just gets to a point. I think only one person has made it here. I don't know how you place on the leaderboard. I don't know if he got past this round. But if he got past it, I mean, hey, props to him. We tried a bit of a different strategy. And we did make it slightly further. Um, I mean, hey, wave 34. You know the vibes. And let's see what happens, bro. I am curious to see if we even placed on it. Or if you actually have to beat the rounds. I don't know. And bang. There we go. We didn't even get a lot of kills, dude. Three skill points, so 51 shot points. Um, if we do slash battleground real quick. And guys, I'm literally stupid. I created my guild and named it pay to win. I was expecting it to say like Royal K9 or whatever. But we are actually second on the leaderboards. We are running one more. I only have one more voucher after this, but... This is the last one so we can all have enough points to purchase that tier 3 totem box. I don't know, it depends how many points I get, but I might just go for two tier 2s if I can afford it. Alright guys, finally we are back after running all of those battlegrounds. We did place number 2 on the server, which is pretty cool. So slash battleground skill tree real quick. Let's take a look at this. I don't even know how many points I have, so we're just going to kind of run this thing. Oh, you can't see the buffs further, so I guess we'll go freeze bullet, fire bullets, or ammo. Um, I guess I'll go with ammo, freeze, bullets, ammo, coin boost. We are going with coin boost, fire rate, um, damage, ammo. I guess we go with damage. I don't really know. I feel like ammo's not that great of an upgrade, but it's kind of all I got left. We do have fire and uh, freeze right here, but I kind of want to go this way, see what's at the end of this skill tree. Ammo, and then, hey, coin boost. I will take it. Jesus Christ, bro. How many skill points do I have? I guess we'll go right here. Oh, now we are finally out. But also, if I do slash a battleground point, battle real quick i have 198 battleground points guys i'm literally two away from purchasing two of those uh tier two totems so i guess that means wait oh, bro i keep forgetting the commands a point shop i guess that means we just buy the tier three bite the bullet one of my members did pull an enchant totem from his which is absolute like you have to get so lucky to do that so we're gonna rip this open we'll see what we end up getting bang and pray to god it's decent essence bro absolute buns it was tier two anyway I hate my life. All right, guys, we are back. I don't know how much of that Battlegrounds content I actually showed, but we ran it a couple of times. It is now like the next day, and I ran two more just fully off camera for points. Now, if I do slash Battleground point balance, how much do I have left? We are back at 165. So wait, slash shop. Can we? Oh, there's this shop is buns, bro, and it won't reroll new loot uh, for like another five hours. Yeah, I'm not buying any of this. Whenever I see some more tier three totems in there, we are going to cop them. But anyways, guys, now I believe it's time we go ahead and start focusing on rebirthing as much as possible. I have a decently high leveled sword. Um, Like I said, it is now the next day that I am recording this. So if I take a look, we are at level 331, which means I can actually probably add a bunch of crystals or it's still three. I guess I figured that out in the last episode, but at level 400, we will also get another slot. But we have also unlocked a couple of brand new enchants. Laser is a very, very good enchant and to max it, it's only 345 billion. Boom, get that done ASAP. And we also have infection now, 
um we can max that as well and then at level 350 we unlock credit finder which i don't really need because this is a pay to win series but snowstorm 150x damage does sound pretty good so we're only like 20 levels away from that we will be getting that here pretty soon let's take a look at our essence we unlocked piggy bank and yeah that's basically it actually and wait i believe penetrate is really good yes chance to go crazy and do 3x attack speed for five seconds this is actually amazing we unlock this very soon as well so anyways yeah it is time to start progressing as much as possible as you guys just saw we wiped everything on the map and oh wait that reminds me ender chest i do have this 100 thor booster which right now might actually be pretty decent but there's a lot of crystals that we can actually go for and a lot of upgrades but i might just save those upgrades for the next episode because right now i really just want to focus on progressing as much as possible because guys i'm rebirth 2 which is god awful but we're gonna be flying up in today's video so let's go ahead slash zone max as well or wait this one has a space zone max boom onto pigs hopefully we still do a decent amount of damage yep just wiped literally the whole map once again go ahead hit a sword max and then can we zone max um okay nothing is available gotta get a couple more kills i do need to upgrade my companions as well probably because they're still probably like pretty bad i haven't progressed through zones in like a couple of days but our enchants are literally so good with this sword we are flying through progress bro like look how fast we are killing these things i just need rain or like thor to proc once and i think we wipe out like literally the entire field rain proc once everything's gone sword max zone max we're flying through progress bro what do i have to get to for rebirth 3 i think the goal for today's video is probably going to be like at least rebirth 10 i'm not sure how much harder it's going to start getting but also my members uh guild members have been telling me that there's actually like rebirth like packages and stuff with like crates and everything rebirth bundles they're actually called and i completely forgot about that but we're definitely going to be buying like every single one and also whenever you rebirth if i just type slash rebirth you do get skill points that you can use on enchant proc upgrades damage upgrades essence upgrades souls all of that stuff and you just get a better money multiplier every single rebirth as well so i should have probably been doing this earlier but i've been a little lazy this season so we are now on zone eight and this is whenever we start doing or stop doing a ton of damage sword max yeah can't purchase anything this one does take a while to kill until my enchants proc does do a ton of damage like that phantom swarm just swooped through did a ton of damage for us and i believe i have zone five companions this is zone eight eight so that just shows you guys how far behind i was on companions we're definitely gonna cop some more before i rebirth so just like that we already have enough money to rebirth but i am buying some of these companion eggs before i dip on out of here oh wait a minute hold on companion storage what are the companion upgrades like what are these cost essence i don't have a whole lot of essence to be dumping into this right now i'm gonna be honest so we're just gonna open these up kind of raw you know 50 right there. not enough currency are we are we broke oh i forgot to turn off the animations as well that is not a good look um we got like terrible rolls right there just a bunch of chickens um turn off the animations what about the credits okay i mean these are still pretty expensive but turn off the animation toggle run some of these all right that was three thousand credits let's go ahead and see what we got we got a bunch of credit cows right here i'm just going to merge these into shinies real quick bang um we have three left uh did we try it boom it was actually a success all right boom that's a w there we go we have a bunch of credit chickens i don't know if these are going to be worth to actually fuse oh wait fuse all i keep forgetting this is a command and all right i think we're cool with that that should have been some fat fat upgrades right there go ahead type slash rebirth and bang rebirth three just like that and we should actually progress a lot faster because we should have a brand new money multiplier my money multiplier is going to be bad all right it's only 3.4k but like i said i haven't even progressed in a couple of days like through zones been strictly leveling up my sword so cut me some slack how much per chicken kill almost a million dollars i think that was we take that and yeah literally in like i want to say 40 no 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 maybe not that quick but maybe like a a minute and a half we are right back to zone eight where we just were already 10 percent of the way to rebirth four again those companions do make a massive massive difference sword max boom 3.6 quadrillion just dump it in there real quick we should be able to uh leave this zone because now we have 35 quadrillion because rain proc and cleared everything we are on zone nine. Oh wait we actually probably could have rebirthed right there i don't know how much money it actually uh no no we definitely could have rebirthed so let's go ahead kill this cow that was worth 26 quadrillion which is enough for the next rebirth 
birth already, bro. Flew right through that thing and actually gotta remember to keep using my skill points. The best thing to upgrade is just gonna be your enchant proc rate until you max this thing out. And then it's probably gonna be damage. I feel like the currencies don't matter that much unless you're going for gank top. Then those might actually be the play. But obviously you guys know we're playing casual. I am not going for gank top in the slightest. So after this rebirth, I do believe we should be getting our first rebirth bundle of the entire season. And we'll see if it's any good. And just like that, we can hit rebirth five but, I mean, how much money do I have? Let's take a look right here. We'll open up some of these. Bro, I swear I should be, like, having enough money. Bang. There we go. Just spam that a bunch. Smack one of these. Let's see. Did we get any upgrades at all? Nope. These are all literally still stage eight. It's probably because they're uh, credit companions. So, you know, maybe we'll just keep moving on. I'll go ahead and hit the rebirth. And this is going to be rebirth five. And we should get a bundle. Again, no clue how good it's actually going to be. But I guess we'll find out because right there, just wiped off the entire freaking farm. Boom. Rebirth five slash bundles. I expect this one not to be that good 5,000 creds it does still come with a 3x sword booster um i mean it's a pay to win season let's go ahead and cop it boom we have seven of the uh anniversary loot boxes once again so let's go ahead smack a chicken and then we are going to get these things down and now it's probably time to start using all of our souls and essence and damage boosters oh my god someone did leave a comment in the last episode saying reminder to use boosters i was just using my tool boosters but that was kind of on purpose because i wanted to wait until i had a decent sword before i started using the essence the uh the souls and then obviously if i wasn't even progressing through zones damage meant nothing so let's open this up oh we got another serpent rank is this any good you guys know i clearly don't need this thing so i think we'll just go ahead and give it away the giveaway winner from the kraken rank should have been announced at the start of this video but hey we're gonna be giving away another one if you guys have made it this far into this video wait royal when will you start using booster bp what, what the hell is that bro nah what Bro, how long has this been a thing and why has nobody told me? Also, I think we just got a message to recruit somebody and I think I'm gonna invite him. Dude, yo, shout who, who said that, bro? Who, who was that? Yo, King Noob 101, you were the GOAT, bro. Why did no one tell me this? Um, Bad Noob, yes. Uh, He said he was like Rebirth 25 or something and he had like 500k swings. Guild invite Bad Noob and I think after this, we are going to be wait oh um my guild is full i literally didn't know that uh that is that's tough if i just do slash g top bro i swear it looks like we can have one more member no oh no everybody has six for some reason i thought it was seven i actually just sold yeah see like zwam right here as well he said you need another guy for the team i'm just playing casually guys we are full that is unfortunate it's not like i'm trying to recruit like the most highly leveled players or anything i just kind of recruited anybody that had a decent amount of swings because if they have a decent amount of swings that means they're on a decent amount to be on for the battlegrounds events but anyways final crate right here nexus skin is that actually good we pulled another violet chance to find enchanted keys think it's pretty mid and hold on guys my guild member right here is trading me a crystal it's a warden crystal bro warden crystal warden enchant is so good and the only reason why i'm accepting this thing is because it is a 100 boost literally the max you could possibly get so shout out to sizzle throw that on the sword immediately but anyways hold on bro back to the bp deposit thing let me get into some of that bro because i have so many booster boxes right here there we go i think we have all of our boosters now how do i deposit it what was the command booster bp deposit oh my there's just no way click here to access your boosters wow i am actually kind of mind blown this has been a thing bro all right well but anyways guys yeah i'm just gonna take a cut right here we are going to continuously just be progressing i am literally flying through progression at the moment and wait a minute bro you unlock a bundle once you unlock a brand new zone as well and we're about to unlock the western zone and we are now on to our first custom sword of the season the samurai sword not really liking the look of this one but i mean it's nice to see that we are really progressing all right guys and we are now back we are in the western zone as you guys can tell and we're actually in zone eight so this is about to be our 15th rebirth already i actually can't afford it like literally right now but i might go back to the last zone to go ahead and purchase some more companions to make it easier on my next go but let's see how fast we actually reach this because if i do slash oh wait no, no no it's slash bundles real quick if i take a look western bundle right here we unlocked this uh the western zone for the first time about 30 minutes ago and then we hit rebirth 10 20 minutes ago and now in 20 minutes we have made it to rebirth 15 i would say that is pretty quick but wait a minute i have e33 so that actually should be enough for a decent amount oh no it's not not really i mean we'll try like four right here boom there we go do we still have enough 99 to rebirth let's go ahead slash companion and just like that literally all our stage eight so that's all we wanted slash rebirth rebirth 15 and now slash bundles guys all right we have the western bundle for only 1500 creds but these other two are 5k creds a pop and they come with sword boosters and sword boosters 
are so good right now. Honestly, the only good thing from the Western bundle, everything is bad. Besides, like, I guess the 5x boosters are good, but the booster ability, I do kind of want. So for right now, let's go ahead. We are going to purchase these two, uh, like, rebirth bundles, which gives us 14 of the anniversary loot boxes and some pretty decent boosters as well. Now, we're going to place all of these down, and if we do not win the booster skin out of one of these crates, we are probably going to go get some more credits and then cop the, uh, the Western bundle because I do need the booster skin. But let's go ahead and see. We're going to get, uh, like, a bunch of shard pouch pouches. Anniversary set monthly. Monthly crate? Monthly crate, bro. Why is that a reward? That might be, like, top 10 worst rewards of all time. Um, good thing we still have another nine crates right here. Let's see what we get. We did win another anniversary set, though. And right here, any booster skins, beat skin, or 10 sword perk rolls. Not bad. Place down the last five, and then I think we are done opening up crates for the episode. Listen, people were asking for a quote-unquote ultra pay-to-win series. I don't know how many crates we have already opened up in this video, but it's been pretty crazy. So let's see. November, bro, another monthly crate? That's like a diabolical reward, bro. Who are, like, who's making these rewards? Because that's actually horrible. And yeah, unfortunately, we did not end up winning the booster skin ability. So give me one second. Or wait, slash milestones, bro. Have I progressed through this? I haven't really progressed that far since the last time we claimed them. But we did get a decent amount. We're at 1,000 creds. Hold on. Oh, rebirth. Rebirth milestones. Hold on. We might actually be able to get it off this. Let me take a look. No, we are one rebirth away from another 250 creds. My slash pass. I don't know if I have anything like useful in here at all, but I haven't claimed any of the rewards. So let's go ahead. Just claim these real quick. And we are currently 400 credits off. So, I mean, that's basically nothing. Give me one sec. I'm going to go grab those. And then we are getting that bundle. Okay. We're back. We got 500 extra creds slash bundles. Cop this right here. Booster skin ability. Thank you very much. I don't know how I haven't pulled this literally all season yet, but boom. Wait. Oh, you put it on your sword. I am a moron. Boom. There we go. And now we can actually unequip the lucky block ability because i already have so many crystal boxes it's insane we are switching over to the booster skin but anyways guys i think that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode we progressed a ton in today's video so if you guys did enjoy drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.enchantedmc.net and uh, yeah we'll catch you guys in the next episode of dungeons